before we go inside, I got a couple more things I want to show you. I did put a uh, step going into the camper. I made it awful convenient for my big body stepping up a little higher. Makes it quite a bit easier to uh, get up in the camper. Pretty good addition. Also on the front on my diamond plate toolbox. Uh, just wanted to show you I elected to put my uh, propane tank inside. I've got a smaller uh, 10 pound tank holds about five gallons. I believe it's five gallons, maybe a little smaller. Fits right in my toolbox. Uh, out of the way, less conspicuous. A little bit better protected. I got my hose going down uh, out the bottom. Keep other things in here charcoal, some tools, uh, water hose few things like that but I really like putting the tank on the inside so for me it's a good example of a space saving plus less conspicuous people to see on the outside uh, here's my 5000 BTU air conditioner that was kind of a job to do uh, had to do some fabrication to mount it on the inside I've got a Ended up having to custom fit a weather deflector water shield on it. I put a evaporator protector insert in there so any road rock or anything kicking up won't uh, damage the evaporator coil. So it worked good for me. And there's another shot of my forward uh, security lighting. And I'll step up on top here. <coughs> And you can see the roof vent and the solar panel. So we'll go inside now. And on my latching, I, I kept the conventional bar hinge latch. And uh, to secure that, I'll bring this over onto this clamp that I installed on here and I can put it in there and then run my lock through there and lock it and that'll secure that people you know it's going to keep an honest thief on us but uh, it's going to secure that from getting locked inside so we'll go in and take a look at it and uh, you can see here that I put a, got this idea from another YouTube video. I'm not going to unroll this, but you can see the, this is a fiber mesh I got from a, a uh, industrial parts house. Unrolls and uh, fixes to the side with Velcro. So it works really well for a screen, rolls clear across, keeps bugs and mosquitoes out, so I like it. Works good for me. So looking inside, you can see my galley. I've got some uh, drop-down doors. Uh, got my silverware, regular storage, magnetic latches. I've got a two burner propane stove here, my uh, air conditioner coming through, 5000 BTU, uh, freezes me out. I've got a uh, six gallon tank underneath and uh, for my sink, a uh, water drain. I've got a small 5 GPM 12 volt pump for that. I fabricated a six gallon tank underneath. Drains to the outside. 
there's my sink 12 volt switch to the pump I got some kick-ass speakers for my stereo little storage trays and swinging around here I got uh, a couple of fire extinguishers ABC and then uh, one for grease chemical still got a little modification to do on my under cabinet got an extra five gallons I can set up on top got a small 120 volt refrigerator works pretty good swinging around here I've got a built-in drop leaf <coughs> table um, close the leaf down works good for me I've got 120 volt lights 12 volt lighting uh, 12 volt as well there's my 120 volt light there's my uh, 12 volt light uh, inside is my put a fishing rack fishing rod rack rifle holding rack I'll uh, use a porta potty or a camper potty sits right there accesses um, got some storage baskets mounted with a protector cord 25 inch flat screen TV I've got uh, my solar panel collector right there hitting about 14 amps charging got a DVD player AM FM stereo controls I've got outlets on either side that's what my door looks like on the inside this can open I can remove my TV and I can open that door if I need to um, here's my part of my bed uh, it's a drop down leaf bed this part I got four cushions this part will drop down I've got storage underneath here uh, runs full length this panel will lift off like I say that drops down and uh, here's my power system got uh, two 100 amp hour 12 volt uh, gel batteries master power switch my 12 volt fuse block charging 14.4 using a thousand watt inverter there's my 120 volt panel with my cord that goes outside battery tender so I'm charging solar right now uh, 120 volt to 12 volt battery tender if I need to charge off the 120 volt side I've got a power cord plugged in my inverter goes through powers this uh, 120 volt 20 amp fused power strip so pretty well equipped for uh, self-sufficiency so it works pretty good and then of course it's stored right underneath here so here's my bed set up right now and again uh, there's a 12 volt fan my rooftop uh, vent uh, battery powered smoke detector uh, carbon monoxide uh, it took me quite a bit of doing by myself to build this I mean I'm very proud of it it's insulated in and inside and out <coughs> uh, excuse me inside and top I should say quarter inch or yeah, quarter inch rolled foam on the radius double thickness